In this video, we are going to be taking a look at how to reset your MacBook Pro 2021 editions for the M1 MacBooks. Uh, so this could be helpful if you are returning your new M1 Macs or you have an old M1 uh, MacBook Air and you're looking to exchange or even the new 2021 M1 Pros. This handles all those versions so that we're going to be guiding you through that process of how to return these MacBooks. There's a couple things you'll want to do if this is specific to you and you want to return the MacBook before you get into some of your settings, um, which it will be factory resetting. You'll want to load up your MacBook and you'll want to sign out of iCloud and turn off Find My Mac. So this could be helpful, um, you know, so that if you're returning it, people don't have that activation me message. And then to actually clear your hard drive, you need to turn off File Vault in your Mac OS settings. So this assumes, you know, some of these settings are done beforehand. And then the rest of this video kind of walks you through how to precisely uh, reset the Mac on an M1 MacBook. So one of the things that is unique to M1 MacBooks, and this is tested on the M1 Max 2021 16-inch version, is when you hold the power button, it will say loading into options. And once you hold it for about 10 seconds, then it will bring up the option to get into the settings that you could do factory reset and stuff of that nature. After some loading, you'll see here it spins up for a bit. You could click into the options. Um, this also is how you choose if you have uh, multiple boot settings. Uh, but for this instance, since we are looking to factory reset, we just click into the options and then get into the familiar Mac OS um, recovery options. So again, this is done by holding the power button for about 10 seconds and then releasing. So here you'll be able to get into disk utility. And then once this kind of loads up, you simply select the hard drive, which is typically the Macintosh HD um, hard drive. And then towards the top, it will let you click the erase button. And this is where you'll be formatting your drive. So you can um, get it set up. Either you're doing a factory reset or you want to return this. Um, these, this is kind of helpful if you need to reset your MacBook. After it resets, it should bring you back into kind of this install Monterey um, setting. Once you have erased everything, it kind of brings you back to the system recovery mode where then you could select to install Mac OS Monterey. Um, so it's important that you actually have a Wi-Fi connection before you start doing this because it has to actually re-download Monterey before you actually get the setting. So that's important note. And then once you do that, you can just select the hard drive and click continue and you'll be on your way to um, resetting your MacBook for return or just for factory reset. So after it finishes installing, you should be able to just boot back up and now you're ready to kind of have your fresh install of Mac OS. Um, so this has been kind of a guide for anyone thinking about returning their M1 Macs or returning the M1 Pro or even any M1 chip, which also includes the M1 MacBook Air. You're now ready to return it. And this is kind of the settings that you're basically good to go to give it back to um, the Apple Store or wherever you purchased the device. So as far as um, kind of reasons for returning, if people are curious, um, just wasn't you know some uh, performance gaps with kind of the video games and stuff of that nature. Um, it kind of didn't put it at the the expected uh, output based on their charts. And then another reason was kind of the M1 Max actually um, has quite less um, battery life if you check out other people's reviews um, than compared to the M1 Pro. So I think at this point I'll make another video um, besides the return reasons of maybe waiting out for the M2 MacBook Air. And I think um, for depending on your uses, if this is just going to be like a browsing device slash work laptop, you're probably better off with the M1 MacBook Air or even waiting for the M2 MacBook Air. All right, everyone. See you in the next one. Bye.